Hello everyone. Ah shit. What's going on? It is I. Everyone's over Jack Paul Trains with foul mouth. Comment to Urban. Hope you guys are having a good day. And shit. Yeah, motherfucker. Ah, <coughs> cocksucker. Sorry, I just I felt with fucking spasming, so I hope you guys have like I said, you guys have been doing all okay, doing good. I hope so. You know, this is going to be a fun video. I'll try to make it fun anyway. Before I begin, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of guys. Well, of course, you know, um, uh, Jerry, if you're watching, I bet you're watching this, Jerry. Uh, Jerry Borgett, uh, if you're watching this, hey buddy, what's up? There's my 1 400 scale Titanic model that you said you liked them up a lot. And there's also my 1350 scale Titanic that I built. And, you know, behind me is my blueprints. My plans for the ship, for the, wall, for the unsinkable ship. And I also like to give a big shout out to uh, Ben over at the Midwest Walt Model Shop. What's up, Ben? I hope, you got, I hope you're doing good. I'm still looking forward to your Titanic build. And I have sent you another email concerning some details about the Titanic you might want to incorporate when you start building your model. Anywho, with all that shit said and done, what's going on? This is going to be a little bit of a different video because, well, I want to talk to you guys about some of my ideas of what I'm going to plan on doing. Um, we are going to be talking about the Trumpet of 200 scale Titanic model, which is a model everybody's talking about right now. Every model builder is going fucking crazy for it. It's one of the most popular model kits right now on the market. And it's also one of the most fucking expensive model kits on the market. And I still can't find one cheap enough for me to fucking purchase. So I don't have one. And I still don't got one yet. Let alone all the shit I'm going to be getting for it. And that's what this video is going to, con going to concentrate on today. Is my plan of attack. For the, for the trumpeter model. If I get one. Well, not if. When. It's not, the, it's not the probability of if. It's when I get it. I won't get it. I just don't know when. Uh, my plan of attack. Well, I've seen a lot of different. I've seen a lot of people's different ways of going around it. One, a couple of people are just taking the kit as it is out of the box and building it. Eh, good for you. I mean, if that's what you want to do, it sure. Whatever. Fuck. Whatever. I mean, I probably would have done that too, at one point or another. Like that's what I did with the uh, mini craft Titanic behind me. I just built a straight out of fucking box. That was before I found out that they had, you know, like wooden decking and fucking photo etched brass shit. I mean, it's got it's got railing, you know, it's got it's got the photo etched fucking railing and shit on it. But it came with the kit. But then I didn't learn about all the crazy shit you can get for these models until I got that Titanic, my one four hundred scale, and it had the fucking wooden deck. It had the photo etched brass detailing shit. It had everything fucking LED lighting and everything. The only thing it was missing was a window set, you know, a photo etched window set, which I bought. I bought it, I bought a set from uh, Tom's Model Works. And that model, absolutely fucking amazing. Fucking amazing model kit. But anyway, like I said, when I get my, when I do get a Trumper or Titanic model kit, my plan is to buy both detailing sets. You think, what? I want to buy the KA models and the Pontos. My plan is to take the best of both. Because I've seen great in both. There is awesome stuff on the Ponto set that the KA model set doesn't fucking have. And there's awesome shit the KA model set has that the fucking Pontos kit don't have. So I thought to myself I can put two and two together. And there's actually been a couple of other YouTubers that have bought both fucking kits and they're doing the same damn thing. Buy both fucking detailing kits Combine them into one super detailing kit. Oh hell yeah, that's what the fuck I'm doing. And I'm not I'm not stopping there, guys. Oh hell no, I'm not fucking stopping there. I'm also going to be buying the photo etch, the photo etch sets from Scale the Titanic. Now, if you guys don't know, his, the guy's name's Alexander, and he's the one that started the Scale the Titanic. You know, making parts and stuff for the Trumpeter 1200 scale Titanic. Well, he's came out with a set of really detailed photo etch sets that are to upgrade the hull. 
the stern plating and the hull, the hull and the plating. I'm going to buy all of them. I'm going to buy every set he's got. I'm going to put all that shit on the hull to upgrade it just like that. That's going to be another fucking thing. I'm going to upgrade the fucking hull. And uh, also, I'm going to buy his, um, his bilge keels. His uh, detailed bilge keels. I'm going to buy those replace the plastic, the, the bilge keels in the kit. I'm also going to get that uh, the forward C deck bulkhead. I want to get that and replace the one in the kit with it because it's more, it's actually correct. Um, I'm trying to think what else there was. Um, I'm not sure. I know, I know the Ponto set don't have them. The KA model set might have them, but the when Ponto, not Ponto, when fucking Trumpeter released the Titanic kit, they forgot two of the collapsible boats. I mean, I think they have the two on the officer's quarter roof. But they forgot the two that were sitting on the boat deck beside the emergency cutters. I'm not sure if the KA model set has those or not. If they don't, I'll probably buy a set from him because he's got them too. I'll probably buy those to be able to put on there if the KA set don't have them. Uh, what else was I wanting to do with it? Oh, I'm just going to go fucking crazy. I'm going to buy some styrene sheet, you know, thin sheets of styrene. And I'm going to get a fucking 1-200 scale drawing of the bottom of the ship. Because the bottom of the hull of the kit is fucking flat. There's no detail whatsoever. No fucking hull plates. No keel. No nothing. And I'm going to do that shit from fucking scratch. And I want to add that shit on the bottom of it. So it has that detail. Because, I mean, it's a fucking 1-200 scale model. I mean, Trumpeter should have fucking put the fucking plating and shit on the bottom. I mean, it, it makes no damn sense. I mean, it's like, if you're going to fucking make a 1-200 scale model of a ship, make sure that that shit is on there. I mean, come on. For fuck's sake. So that's something else I'm going to be doing, too. Uh, I don't know. And also, I'm going to replace that fucking shitty, uh, that, that fucking shitty LED lighting set. There's actually a lighting set and sound set made by Magical Scale Modeling. It's full lighting, full sound. I'm going to get it, I'm going to put it in that, and I'm also going to have to buy one of the internal bulkhead sets. Nigel's got a set, uh, um, a couple of cottage, a couple of smaller companies have made like a ribs, bulkhead ribs that just slide in, and also um, Titanic Honor and Glory has got a internal stiffening thing you can slide into the hull, which I'll probably get the one from uh, Titanic Honor and Glory. So I think it's the one that's... If I stuck that in there, I could probably be able to run wiring and lighting and shit through it without no, you know, with no fucking problem. So, I think it'll be fucking working. It'll be fucking worth it. And finally, probably, to wrap all that shit up, I will probably buy the uh, paint set from Jeff Scale Colors. He's got a big massive paint set, like sixty, seventy dollars. He's got every, he's got all the color. He's got every bit of paint you need to paint it. So once I'm all said and done, I'm probably gonna be looking at well over a fucking thousand dollars. Well over a thousand dollars, probably almost two thousand dollars. But to build this model, the Titanic, I'm gonna fucking do it right. I wanna fucking do it perfect because this model is gonna be the swan song model. This is gonna be the one that's going to show everyone that this is going to be the pre the pre amulet model because probably after I get this one 200 scale model kit I probably won't probably be able to afford to probably get any more bigger model ships so if I get this one I'll be happy so so if I'm, like I said if you're going to do one big model you might as well go fucking all out and go crazy with it like I said I'm going to go fucking retard on this thing I'm going to go all full retard on it and it's going to have everything. And, you know, like I said, I've got enough books on the Titanic. This is just two of them. I've got enough fucking books on the Titanic. And I can buy more. So, yeah. Um, yeah. That's basically fucking it. I mean, that's that's my plan. When I get the Trumpeter Titanic model kit, it's going to take some time. But I'm going to get both detailing kits. I'm gonna get the internal bulkhead set from scale, not scale of Titanic, but the Titanic Honor and Glory. I'm gonna get the detailed bilge shields 
the forward sea deck bulkhead for the forward end of the ship and the photo etch hall sets from scale to titanic and we get the lighting and sound set from magical scale modeling um, I'm going to get some sheet styrene and I'm going to make the keel and I'm going to make all the bottom plating get that shit put on um, and just you know get the paint sets and all that other shit and it's going to be awesome and I'll probably get some primer too I think because I'll probably primer this model you know spray and prime, spray everything in primer and then just fucking work on it from there so yeah it's going to be it's going to be an epic fucking build. And it's probably going to be a build that's going to take years. Years and years to do. So a model like that. Especially a model that's like a five foot long. Or five, five foot something long. Like it's one of the biggest kits Trumpeter's got. It's going to take a long time. It's probably going to take a long time to build it. So it's going to be one of those kind of projects where it's going to just string out from probably from one year and it's going to be finished in like a year or so or two years or whatever down the fucking road. So yeah. There you have it guys. That is my plan of attack for when I get my Trumpeter 1-200 scale Titanic. I'm going to go full fucking historical retard on it. I'm going to make sure every fucking thing is on it. I'm even going to replicate the fucking deck beams and shit. You know like the overhead fucking deck girders and shit. They sell the little, like, plastic girders and shit that you can buy, and I'll probably buy some of that shit and put it on there, and I'll replicate the fucking water pipes and shit and then running under the decks and crap, and like I said, I'm going to fucking full retard on it. Full fucking retard. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different. I hope that you guys have an understanding of what I'm going to do, because it's what anybody who is a, who is a true Titanic fanatic, you know, like Titaniac, what what they would do. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I will get back with you. I always will. And if you're new to the channel, you like the shit I'm doing, hit that fucking subscribe button and beat the shit out of the notification bell. Become a part of my crew and you never miss a video of mine ever again. So until next time, this is Commodore Irvin. And that's smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you and God bless you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay awesome, and just be yourself. Until next time, so long. Anchors away, motherfuckers.